We are going to look at another way of establishing the rules of dividing positive and negative numbers. We are going to build up a pattern that shows numbers divided by each other. First, let's look at an example of a positive number divided by a positive number. Positive 9 divided by positive 3. This gives an answer of positive 3. So we know that a positive number divided by a positive number gives a positive answer. Next, a negative number divided by a positive number. Negative 20 divided by positive 5. This works out to negative 4. A negative divided by a positive gives a negative answer. Next, we'll do a positive divided by a negative. Positive 20 divided by negative 2. This gives negative 10. A positive divided by a negative gives a negative answer. Finally, let's finish off our pattern by looking at a negative divided by a negative. Negative 32 divided by negative 4. Let's see what this could be. You might think that the answer is negative 8. If it were negative 8, then it would be the same as negative 32 divided by positive 4. But that would mean that these two calculations would give the same result, which would mean that negative 4 was the same as positive 4, which it isn't. So what could we have instead as the answer? The only other option is for the answer to be positive 8, which means that our pattern is completed. Any combination of positive and negative numbers can be multiplied together using this pattern.